Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar on Monday, uh, October 16th. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a 14-day free trial. Uh, not only do you get the uh, product for 14 days to try it out, uh, but you also get access to the... Uh, uh, to more content, uh, the uh, uh, live uh, order flow, uh, advanced analysis, uh, which is uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern time, so in about uh, 27 minutes or so, uh, the educational course, uh, as well as other video snippets, okay, that uh, content that we generate. Uh, and it's the, the, the idea here is um, uh, for new traders to ask questions about the platform, get up and running with the platform, understand what bookmap is, what it's displaying, and then get into uh, very specific uh, order flow uh, details uh, and um, uh, how to utilize bookmap in that environment, okay? And to hone, hone your skills uh, with that, uh, in, within that environment, okay? Okay, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> if you wanna give bookmap a try, Come up to the uh, home page here. Let's click on uh, Explore. There are three intro videos here for you, for those of you who are new. I might want to watch those. Uh, they're very short. And then just keep scrolling down here. Go through uh, some of the advantages using Bookmap. What is displaying? Uh, Bookmap for equities here, which is uh, excellent data feed. Uh, connectivity. Okay, we are not a data provider. You will need um, one of these uh, data providers to be able to connect Bookmap to the futures markets. Okay, or you can use the Dev Experts, which we uh, offer as well uh, via Bookmap. Uh, so you can uh, just ask us about that if you're if you're interested, um, and that gives you Nasdaq Total View. All right, uh, that's equities, and then uh, scroll down a little bit further. Pricing. Okay, so there's the basic, advanced, and quant. Uh, now there's really only one version of Bookmap, and and that's Bookmap Basic. Okay, the other plans that you see here uh, are different features. Okay, and, and they all offer a 14-day trial period here. Okay, for quants, uh, just click here and learn more. Uh, you know, for connecting your own data and your own proprietary indicators and order uh, queue estimation, et cetera. So much more uh, uh, integrated within, you know, the way that uh, uh, your quantitative analysis is uh, with uh, uh, you know, using uh, <laughs> using your own data sets, et cetera. All right, so the basic version, um, uh, this is uh, gives you the heat map and, uh, you know, all the functionality, except uh, what you get with the advanced here is you get the ability to trade from the book map chart, uh, and then you have access to these proprietary indicators that we developed uh, for uh, order book analysis, uh, historical and current, to understand what's really going on uh, in the order flow. All right, so they're not your typical stochastics or MACD or uh, RSI. Uh, they're they're uh, much more specific, like looking for iceberg orders, understanding the larger players, where they are positioning themselves, in order, understanding order book and volume and balances. Okay, so... Uh, that's that. Uh, let's see here. Other things, uh, social media, you can follow us here on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro, and then you can subscribe to our YouTube page here. And, uh, for those of you who are new, uh, I would, uh, suggest, uh, going through the features and components videos just to understand what bookmap is, what it's showing you. Uh, and then, uh, some of these order flow video snippets, very concise, um, just go through some of the phenomena that Bookmap uncovers. Okay, this is the advantage, uh, and this is what we go through in detail in the uh, advanced analysis live webinars uh, that are at 11 Eastern time. Okay, so understanding absorption, exhaustion, flip of the order book, um, shifts in order flow, uh, and uh, rejections, and breakdowns in price, and returns back into the mean, etc. So understanding all of this data here uh, and what it means in Bookmap. So in, in this webinar, we're going to go through not some of the features and components, but really what Bookmap is showing you. Uh, and then you can be able to take advantage of what it's showing you uh, when you uh, get into some of the um, order flow phenomena. 
All right, so let's take a look at bookmap. Okay, and uh, let's take a look first. What's moving today? Um, don't, don't really see a lot here. I mean, uh, we've been looking at the NASDAQ oil uh, just to see what is out there moving. Uh, I guess we can take a look at the NASDAQ. We see some buying down here at 61.04. So let's, uh, let's stick with that. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to zoom all the way out. Okay. All right, so here we have book map. And uh, here is our 930 open, uh, and, uh, and you can see uh, all of the uh, uh, volume that took place here, the, the price action, uh, and, uh, and this heat map. Okay, so there's really, I mean, for a lot of new traders, this looks like a very foreign uh, chart. Uh, it's really not. It's really pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, and um, it's all, all we're showing here. Uh, it's very, very objective and, and quite simple. All we're showing is historical best bid and offer. Okay, here's your best bid and offer current right here in this window. Okay, uh, and um, uh, we've just recorded it and we're projecting it on the chart. Okay, then we're showing the volume, okay, where it traded on the historical best bid and offer. Uh, and then uh, we're also showing you uh, where they're bidding and offering in the, um, uh, in the book. Okay, so when you look at a dome, and this is your dome here in Bookmap, the current order book, uh, when you look at this dome, uh, you see the depth of market, and uh, which is good. Uh, you know, we want to understand what's going on in the current order book, where they're bidding and offering. It offers a lot of insight into the auction, uh, but we're just taking that data and projecting it on the chart historically. That's it. Okay, so we're really looking at just three things here. Uh, so let's. Uh, let me uh, further explain uh, and show you uh, how we're doing this and uh, the significance that it has. Okay, so let's uh, zoom out here and we're going to look at a candlestick chart. Okay, because we're all familiar looking at candlesticks. And we're turning it into a five minute chart. Okay. Okay, so I have a new version of Bookmap, and um, <clears throat> anyway, we won't get into the details right now. But uh, uh, here is your typical uh, candlestick chart. Okay, and we can see here uh, the um, uh, the open high low close of each five minute uh, position. Okay, and um, uh, that's that's basically the uh, all the candlestick chart is is showing you open high low close. Uh, of a five minute period. Okay, now we do have a volume subchart down here uh, and it's showing you where the volume spikes are uh, in that five minute period. Okay, now that's not very much transparency into the market. We have no idea where the majority of the volume traded. Okay, we want to understand that. Uh, we want to understand microstructures in here and how the volume related to it. It gives us tremendous insight to. Uh, what's going on with price and uh, uh, anticipating uh, the future price movement. Okay. So for just a simple example, just the traded volume. Okay. On this candlestick, where did it trade? Uh, we, we have, we have a sub chart, but we have no idea within this five minute period where that volume traded. We have no idea, not only where it traded, how much uh, and where, and then what type of volume was it aggressive buying or selling? And uh, that's all lacking here. Okay, so uh, uh, that's where uh, we can start to add in some layers here of information, and we can solve this issue and offer a lot more transparency. Now, the first layer I'm going to show is just the historical best bid and offer. Okay, and I really like this view. I think this view already shows us quite a bit of information, uh, and. Uh, uh, within that five minute period that just aggregates and moves back and forth, we're showing you microstructural details here. Okay, we're showing you exactly what happened. So up in this area, I mean, I can already see it here that uh, we moved up into the high of the range. Okay, we broke out of a small range here. We channeled for a little bit and then we broke down. Okay, we get a retest to where we broke from right here and we broke down further and now we made a new low. Okay, for the for the uh, cash session, we get a retest back to where we broke from in the bigger range, and we break down further. 
now price is accepting down below this area. Okay, you really can't see that here in the candlestick chart. You don't know, uh, and you don't know, especially the commitment of these traders within this period here. This is really the, the key period. Well, a, a few of these uh, periods are really key to understand. Uh, and um, uh, that's the kind of transparency we want to understand. This is what allows us much more informed trading decisions. Okay, so that's just the looking at the um, historical best bid and offer, and already seen a lot of detail. Now we turn on the volume. Okay, now a green dot is an aggressive market buy order, and a red dot is an aggressive market sell order. So we're using aggressor classification. Uh, and uh, uh, let me, I'm going to zoom in here and explain it uh, a little bit further, okay, uh, just to, with a really simple example. We can just look at this little range right here, okay. Here is a dot on, this is your historical best offer, this is your historical best bid, okay, that's it. Uh, and then these dots are trades that took place on the historical best bid or offer, that's it. Okay, we can use the hover over tool here, or the data tip tool, and uh, it tells us the date, the time, what was on the ask here, and what was the volume. Okay, and uh, there it is, so volume of three. Okay, uh, on the ask there was 30 at that time. Now we have on the ask there's 27, and another volume of three, an aggressive market buy order. They, they crossed the spread, they took liquidity off of the best offer. This is how the market trades. It's how it works. Uh, here's an aggressive market sell. Okay, they hit the market sell button, took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, now as I zoom out though, uh, note how we're aggregating all that information and data together. Okay, and we give you the overall delta. Although, like as I zoomed in here, and we can continue to zoom in and see every single piece of detail. Uh, down to the uh, um, uh, nanosecond here, nanosecond level, right? Uh, billions of seconds, and I'm, we're showing you everything. Uh, but as I zoom back out, note, okay, now we're down at the millisecond level or microsecond level, okay? And uh, we're showing you all of this detail because this is important detail. It's understanding how these markets trade algorithmically. But, you know, we're not trading off that time frame. So as I zoom back out, we aggregate it just visually, and we put it into a bigger green dot, and you understand this is for a volume overall of 57. And as I continue to zoom out, we note how just graphically we're aggregating that data into a pie chart. And we can see that there was some selling in here too, right? But not a lot. It was mostly buying. Okay, And the overall volume was 86. So that's what the pie display is showing you, uh, and that's what uh, the volume is showing you. Now, if you know we're not trading off of the nanosecond levels, okay? Uh, unless you're uh, you're looking for uh, how your automated strategy performed, and you want to see exactly where it, it's uh, getting filled and how it performed, All right? But uh, for most of us, we're uh, looking at bigger pictures, okay? And uh, we can see it here. Okay, we're giving you that overall shape of the volume and you understand what's going on up here. This is where the order flow changed over. It actually changed over here. Okay, we see more aggressive selling at a lower a lower low or at the lows here. Okay, we uh, return back up and we see volume that traded up here, but not quite as much compared to these other areas. This is giving us insight to a possible shift in the order flow. Okay. See another nice little cluster down here of aggressive selling. Look at the retest up here, okay, and look at the buying that uh, occurred up here. This is this is where we see a distinction, okay. And again, more aggressive selling at a low, a lower low here, below the range, okay. And we do get another retest right here, and very little buying. Okay? Sellers are in control now. We we've noticed the shift in the order flow, uh, and um, and we get another retest again and lack of buyers. We're not coming back up into this range. Okay, the buyers are not interested. This is, now we have price discovery. Okay, it's, uh, it's looking for uh, balance. It's looking for uh, an area uh, that is accepted. Okay, and uh, it is uh, trying to find that. Uh, and sellers are completely in control here. 
and you can see uh, exactly what occurred here. Look at the look at this candlestick here, and look at the aggressive uh, uh, selling. I imagine we'll get a retest to where we broke from right here in this area. Okay, almost. Yeah, here we did, um, and uh, and that's currently what's going on uh, in this market. Okay, so you can see this is where the break happened, and we have accepted below that break. Okay, this candlestick chart is not showing us any of that data. Okay, you, you would have no clue uh, or understanding of any of what I just covered. Okay, it's a level of transparency that is really lacking in the candlestick chart. All right, and furthermore, it's just very objective information transactions that occurred in the market, what type, how much. And where that's it okay it's no indicator there's nothing else to uh, how to interpret the context of it uh, is important and that's what we do in the advanced analysis webinar okay and I'm getting into a little bit of it here all right so let's turn off the candlesticks uh, and um, uh, let's just look at historical best bid and offer and where the transactions took place all right so now we have an understanding uh, and we know who's in control here. Uh, and we're starting to see maybe uh, a little bit of shift in that too. We see aggressive buying up in this area here. Okay, we get a retest. We don't make a lower low. Okay, we should see more selling down here. We see a cluster, but uh, it's not uh, uh, as uh, indicative as uh, some of these other areas as we make lower lows. All right, so anyway, we're just going sideways at the moment. Okay, so we have volume on both sides of, uh, of the range here. Um, okay, so understanding the volume uh, is, is an important part, okay? But there is a lot more. And um, uh, we want to understand the auction, okay? Because it is an auction. We want to understand uh, the price on the price ladder here. If we look over, if I zoom in just a little bit more, okay? And we can look at the, the depth of market. This is your dome in book map. Okay. And um, uh, we can see uh, the, you know, traders lined up to offer liquidity here uh, on the offer. And then here they are on the bid. Okay. These are people with their limit orders. This is where they want to deal. They're, they want to buy down at these levels. Sellers, they want to sell up here at these levels. Okay. We want to understand that auction. It's, it's, it's important to understand how many people are there. Um, and we also want to understand if they're going to be re if they're real or if they're going to pull. Okay. And we can make that distinction here in book map. All right. So anyway, um, what we do is we take these numeric values and, and note how they're always changing. Okay. When they change, that data is lost. Okay, we don't know what, what the previous area of liquidity was. Like, where, where were they on the bid before? Okay, I, I don't know. I, I, that data is gone. Okay, so I, I'd have to kind of remember where they were interested in buying. Okay, I imagine it's probably going to be down around the swing, uh, but we'll see. Uh, so let's turn on the heat map. That's, this is where it gets interesting in book map. Uh, we record this data here, okay, and we use the heat map in the current market window here. We, you can see the heat map, which is just a reflection of the liquidity. Areas of high liquidity, this uh, 6112 area has 103 contracts. It's it's bright white. Okay, note these other areas are, are uh, they're adding and pulling liquidity here. When you see the heat map change. Okay, now uh, those changes are recorded to the left of this vertical white line, and let's zoom in here. And you can note, see these striations in the uh, 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 in the heat map. Okay, this is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, let's use this uh, data tip tool again, and we'll hover over these areas. Here is dark, 72 contracts. It got brighter, 79. Uh, over here, where it gets brighter yet, uh, 87. Okay, in some of these areas, 89, 84. Okay, so that's the adding and pulling of liquidity, and that's what it looks like here in book map. What this allows us to do is uh, is understand if they have intent to trade up here in some of these areas, okay? Because we can see they start to pull as price comes up and they add as soon as price goes away. So d at this uh, uh, 61, 11 and a half area, do they have intent to trade? 
And uh, the answer at the moment is no, because they keep on adding and pulling. At, at 61.12 though, it looks like they want to trade. Okay, they're staying in the book. Okay, they pulled some here, uh, but they added right back in. Okay, I mean, they've been here for a longer period of time and they're showing higher liquidity. Okay, but now we can also start to read the intent of these traders. Okay, and that's what we do in the uh, uh, in the next webinar, right? And and put context to this auction, understand this auction. Okay, just like going to an auction. All right. Uh, so um, uh, anyway, that's what uh, that's what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and uh, starting to um, uh, comprehend the context. Uh, of the auction and the transactions where they're taking place, okay? And putting that together, we have a full picture of the uh, uh, current and historical state of the market, okay? Uh, so uh, what's, what's nice about this uh, is that uh, if you look in the dome, okay, you really have to be focused in here on the dome, and uh, you're going to see uh, you know, these numbers changing. You have to remember these, these areas. Since Bookmap records it all, we can look, we can zoom out and look on a much higher time frame since 9.30 a.m. We can start to understand and piece this together. Look at them here uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the bid. Pretty high liquidity. Big transaction took place. Okay. Uh, we trade, we bounce for a little bit, and then we trade through. Okay. Looks to me like they're starting to absorb down in these areas here. They're also we're going to see some uh, uh, absorption here as well. Responsive buyers probably trying to trade it back in here. Maybe they flip out in this area here, okay? And uh, they got it wrong, right? Uh, now maybe we have the 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 uh, uh, potential to come back up into the range here. Well, we we will see. But we'd be looking for some uh, some clues to that. Okay, and this is just factual uh, information, understanding the auction. Okay, well, what we need to see then is these guys here at 61.12, they're going to start to pull some of that liquidity and they're going to add it up higher. Okay, they're, all, they're already starting to do some of that. Okay, and then we want to see them on the bid here. They're going to raise the bid because they're going to be, uh, they want to be buyers at a higher area. Right now, we're channeling between those two areas of very high liquidity. 6104, 6112. Okay, that, and we can see there's all sorts of other algorithmic activity within this area, but I've uh, used the um, contrast configurations here uh, to uh, uh, lessen the effect here. Okay, so I mean we can see all the details in the order flow in the auction here. Okay, but um, you know that's uh, that's noise for me the way that uh, I'm looking at it right now, and I want to filter that out. Okay. I just want to look at some of the higher areas of liquidity. I want the bigger picture understanding of that limit order book, okay, the dome. Uh, so now I'm using the dome uh, in context here on a much higher time frame. Okay, that's what the historical depth of market here in Bookmap allows you to do. All right. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, call it a day, and uh, for those of you who in trial or current customers, and it's great to see uh, a lot of you guys in, in the room here. It's uh, really nice uh, that uh, uh, you're here uh, in the uh, in the Bookmap Basics, uh, ask questions about what's going on in the platform, uh, and then uh, and then we take that um, uh, further into the uh, uh, the live analysis and uh, nothing about the platform, but much more about the order flow. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. We'll see you tomorrow.